Hey everyone, Marcus here with the Best Buy blog. Today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is the Logitech G502X series. This includes the G502X, the G502X Lightspeed, and the G502X Plus. I'm going to be talking about what they have in common, their features, their differences, and of course sharing my final thoughts. So the G502X series has a lot more in common than you think. Logitech has a clear understanding of what features are important to gamers and included them across the entire series. Let's start off by talking about the sensitivity. All of the G502X series come with Logitech's Hero 25K sensor. This sensor allows users to set the mouse sensitivity from 100 all the way up to 25,600 DPI. Having this kind of flexibility makes the mice perfect for all types of games, applications, and personal use. In addition to the DPI settings, there is also a DPI shift button here on the left hand side of the mouse by your thumb. This is perfect for snipers and shooting games because when you press this button here, it lowers that DPI and allows you to do things such as have really accurate sniper shots. Let's move on to the buttons. Logitech has implemented a new hybrid button system in the G502X series. This is called their Light Force Switches. These switches are a hybrid of optical and mechanical switches. Now, the problem with purely mechanical switches in traditional mice here is that over time, the switches become less responsive or they end up creating misclicks. Logitech solves this problem with their Light Force hybrid switches. The optical switches have the benefit of being more responsive, faster to register mouse clicks, and won't degrade over time. Logitech kept the mechanical switches so that users maintain that same feel of traditional gaming mice. In my testing, the hybrid switch system worked flawlessly. I wasn't able to tell the difference between my traditional gaming mouse and the new Light Force switches. Moving over to the scroll wheel, an interesting and welcome design decision is a dual mode scroll wheel. The first mode here of the wheel is free spin. This mode allows the mouse wheel to spin seamlessly without any clicking. In my testing, this mode was incredibly smooth and for me worked out best for productivity and casual use. This is especially when scrolling through long documents, web pages, or zooming in on images. The second scroll setting is called ratchet mode. This mode gives the wheel a more tactical and notch feel when you scroll forwards and backwards. I preferred this mode when playing games. For example, in Call of Duty, scrolling the wheel forwards or backwards lets you swap weapons. The ratchet mode's tactile feedback let me know that the command has been registered and prevents me from over or under scrolling to swap weapons. When it comes to comfort, all three G502X series mice were incredibly comfortable to use. My hand and arm remained comfortable throughout my long gaming sessions and my long work days. Looking at the buttons of these mice here, all the mice in this series come with 13 programmable buttons, which can then be saved into five onboard profiles. This is all done through Logitech's G-Hub software, which is compatible with PC and Mac. What's even better about these profiles is that you can actually customize the buttons to perform different behaviors depending on what application you're using. In my testing, this feature was incredibly helpful both in my gaming and productivity needs. All right, let's move on to some of the differences here. When it comes to Logitech G502X series, there are a few minor differences. And since these mice are functionally equivalent, these differences, in my personal opinion, come down to your personal preferences. For starters, the G502X here is a wired mouse, while the X Plus and the X Lightspeed are wireless. Another difference is with the RGB. For the 502X Plus here, it does have RGB lighting that can be found throughout its design. There are eight RGB zones and their behaviors, speed, and brightness can be customized using Logitech's G-Hub software. As I mentioned earlier, the G502X Lightspeed and the G502X Plus are both wireless mice. So let's talk about their battery life. The X Lightspeed has a battery life of 140 hours of continuous use. On the other hand here, the X Plus's RGB does take a toll on the battery life. With RGB on, the X Plus's battery is about 37 hours. If you decide to turn off the RGB lighting here, the battery life does increase to 120 hours. The cool thing here about both of these wireless mice is that they are compatible with Logitech's PowerPlay. PowerPlay is a wireless charging system in the form of a mouse pad. Now, as long as these wireless mice here stay on top of that mouse pad, they will be charged. Well, that's all for today, everyone. If you'd like to know more about the G502X series, you can check out my full review on the Best Buy blog. 
If you'd like to know what else I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at PUX31 or on Facebook and YouTube at PUX3. Thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.